And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Echo Vi. All right, so we played Echo Zillion earlier and it was pretty good, pretty good. We're gonna try it with Vi though. And I kind of feel like Echo may be even better with Vi. Cause I, I feel like, like I like Zillion a lot. As you know, I played at Zillion in the seasonal tournament that we just had. But I think with Zillion, you gotta be able to play a longer control game and kind of have a little bit more hard removal and be able to kill some larger things. And so I don't know if Zillion works that great with Piltover and Zaun. To be fair, we did play a very good looking Zillion Ezreal deck. And so maybe like those two kind of work a little bit better together because Ezreal can end the game a lot faster than you know these other champions like Echo. But I think this could work out pretty well. Echo with Vi um, with these same regions. Um, Vi is just going to be a lot larger and can can take down some larger things, but then also just Echo and Vi together, can, you know, like we're not playing like a super slow control deck like what you normally do with Zillion. We're going to be playing, you know, more of a tempo game and a faster game. We're still going to have a whole lot of predict cards, and that's what these two regions have is a lot of predict cards, and that's the thing about Shurima. You want Shurima has most of the predict cards for Echo. It is a little tough to play Echo in regions that aren't Shurima because you really basically just have Echo making time tricks and then time tricks as kind of like your only predicts there for uh, Echo besides um, all the Shurima cards. I'm going to play a couple Siphoning Strikes because those seem pretty amazing with Vi. Getting that extra plus two, plus two on Vi with Tough. Um, and then of course our Xenotype Researchers that if we hit a Vi with the Xenotype Researchers, that's going to be amazing. And, you know, maybe we can do that and then find it with the Predicts. Um, and that's going to kind of be it. So it's going to be a very similar list we just played, but a little different. We're going to have a different champion here with Fi. So let's get to it. Let's go play our five games in Ranked and have some fun. Echo Vi. Whoa. All right. We got Echo Zillion. Deck we're just playing a little bit ago. Scrying Sand's probably not that necessary against Echo Zillion. I think Siphoning Strike's gonna be good in this matchup, though. They don't really have, like, you know, like, if we're gonna have Vi Siphoning Strike something, they're not gonna really stop that. But man, I, I would have to say that probably, like, Gotcha and Scrying Sands are, like, the cards I do not want to see. And <laughs> unfortunately, that is what we drew. Alright, we'll go Chronomancer. I'll take a Preservarium. I'm not scared. That's new. It. I don't know. I guess I'm doing this. Yeah, Echo has a skin. Um, we used the Echo skin the first time whenever we did play Echo Zillion. So I used, we used that Echo skin last time, so I, I don't have it here with me this time we're, we're we're going normal echo this time to just kind of you know be able to use both echoes so i put the pressure on them okay i was kind of hoping they wouldn't play anything and then i'd like pass the round and have them waste all their mana that was kind of my plan but they did play something Alright, they got the Practical Joker, or whatever this thing's called. Practical Perfectionist. Not a bad card. So they were able to get the Hexite Crystal. Which you can see through the Hexite Lens, eh? Yeah, and they got Kahiri. Kahiri is big. Gotta give it to Kahiri. Kahiri is pretty big. I guess this is just a good spot for Siphoning Strike over here. Time trick. Maybe I should be taking the kitty cat. But more predicts is always good for Echo. New tech, new tricks, new 
day new zone. That's a bunch of new things. Nice day. Hope you're in the coughing. Man. This could be me dying if they go scrying sands. I yeah, I attack. Because even if they go scrying sands, I still create the time trick. I guess I could take the Ancient Preparations to get the 4th Predict, but I, I do have the ability to get the 4th Predict, 5th Predict. I predict this game is a mess. <laughs> so much predict everywhere. I've been practicing, and it's not perfect. But look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. Artists gonna make a meal of them. I'm back. It's so good to see you again. My dear friend. You weren't gone long, but I worried every second. Every second. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton! Right, Arda? Hit him where it hurts. Right! Xenotype could be nice, but I kind of want the backup Echo in case something happens to this Echo. I'm gonna take that. We get the sweet level up animation for Echo. Alright, that's it. GG's. That was gonna be the second Kahiri dead. And we had enough card advantage that I think it was fair to take the backup Echo. Uh. I don't like this. I, <laughs> I don't want to play against this deck. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess we're going to keep everything and just draw a whole bunch of cards. Get to that Echo level up. Um, could get rid of these. I think these two are key. I don't know. Do we... Do you... Okay. Do you just go turn to Preservarium? Like, is that like a plan that we really want to do? We're going to need some cards. But do we want round two to do this? Yeah, Watcher does leave three cards now. So hope you like your three cards. Hope you like those three cards very much. Is great. You can see the Nebastian Ever the Sentry is great. I'll just skip. I was hoping they play Lissandra, of course, because I wanted a Merciless Hunter, the Lissandra. The trolls are going to war. Vibe stands for violence. Man.
This seems pretty rough. This is every kind of like control deck against Watcher, like you just lose. <laughs> that's that's the thing oh, about Watcher. I was I was certainly hoping for more of a nerf to the Watcher, as y'all know if you were watching like the video of whenever I discussed all of the buffs and nerfs. Very disappointed in the lack of Spectral Matron nerf and really even just the Watcher nerf. I just don't think that there was really much of a nerf there. We'll play the we'll play the game out because you know like we're streaming and everything, but this this game is very over. Merciless Hunter and Spectral Matron were the two cards I was very surprised that nothing happened to either card. that number four out of five okay that's what I thought I play one more spell to level up the vibe, but I also don't want to play any of these spells. So that's kind of a difficult spot to be in. Yeah, I mean, neither, neither the crystal nor the mystic was was uh, useful. I mean, nothing nothing's useful in this this matchup. You can't play a slow mid range e control deck and expect to beat Lissandro Trundle Watcher. Like we're none of our cards are useful. So let's play against um, some pirate aggro. They could have Make It Rain. It's going to be a new card they could have. We're going to have to be a lot faster. I think I'm mulliganing the Echo also. I'm going to keep Gotcha because that is very good against Misfortune. A card I'm super scared of. But we're going to need earlier things than all that other stuff. Um, I want this Vi.
really nice gotcha draw right there. Take out that Iron Ballista, that's very nice. And now I got the four mana next round for this one. In case of another Ballista. I'm not sure if I should Scrying Sands and keep the 2-2 alive. Because it is just a 2-2, but... I guess so. I'd rather have that 2-2 alive than not alive. Um, if I'm playing Fide next round, it'd be like one of these cards after that, and I think it's a little late for the feline. Sorry, kitty cat. You think I should be saving that right there? Revive versus Gangplank? Vi stands for vicious. Possibly. Ooh, yeah, Vi with Lucky Finds. I'm sure that's a good time. So I'm drawing the card first so I know what my hand looks like before I start doing predicts. So I just have more information on my hand for predicts. So if they want to do one damage to me with the attack, they gotta attack with that thing. Might as well take another time trick. I'm kind of looking for Mystic Shot. I could take Siphoning Strike, I guess. But I want Mystic Shot, right? Because this is uh, 14 damage right here. Two other Mystic Shots in the deck. I... Siphoning Strike's better than a... It's a lot better than a random card, though, because of how good Siphoning Strike is against, you know, like, if they do drop Gangplank or, um, uh, the other five mana Bilgewater unit. Captain something. The 5 mana 5-5 five five that makes the 0 mana 2 cost spell. Like, both of those cards were cards I was scared about with the Siphoning Strike. Like, that's why I took Siphoning Strike. Alright, um... Still no... Still no Mystic Shot. We'll have a couple more chances at a Mystic Shot. Still no Mystic Shots. Still no Mystic Shot. I guess Crying Sand. Now I'm just gonna skip. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Ugh. No Mystic Shot. Gotta go with the flow. That'll do. Alright, two and one. Siphon Strike is such a good card. Such a good card. Hmm. Alright, Echo Jinx. A couple four mana champions. This hand looks awesome to me. Because, <laughs> again, like, these regions don't really stop by Siphoning Strike. Like, this combo, right? Like, we talked about the, the very first game, right? So, this by Siphoning Strike combo should be awesome. And then I love Xenotype Researchers. Starting the game off, and we can, you know, hold our spell mana the first two rounds, and we can have quick quicksand. Quicksand should be great against both of these champions. Like they're both, you know, quick attack champions that they'll attack in thinking that they're safe, and then boom, quicksand, they're not safe. And suddenly our Xenotype that blocked it, they're all like surprised. They're like, oh no, how'd you do that? And we're like, sorry, your, your, your champion's dead. And they're like, no. Anyway, that's how it's gonna go. And 
This is where we draw Echo with plus three, plus three. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. All right, I'll make a note. Their Echo with Jinx. That's their champions. You, yeah, you. Hi. I mean, there is an echo. Yeah, we, we're taking it. We're having the siphoning strike. Let's take it. How'd I lose six health already? These these things attack me. These things in play. I mean, it's, it's, that Echo's gonna have buffs by the time I play it, right? Because I'm gonna be playing Vi and then Siphoning Strike. By the time I actually play this Echo, it will have buffs, because I'm not gonna have my Echo die to Mystic Shot. I was like, what's going on here? So basically exactly what I said was going to happen with the quicksand of their champion. Happen. They do get the zero cost time trick though. I guess that still counts as dealing damage even though it was tough. So probably still worth for them. look for some if you never needed it oh no the hourglass no the hourglass yes yeah, siphoning strikes awesome Just you and me, fish bones. unfortunately we got hourglass Bye. So this has to strike a unit while attacking to do 10, or sorry, to do 5. Chrono Break card is broken. I do my own stunts. Take nine. Wait, they're are they? Wait, are these just like regular cards? Like they're not like ephemeral or anything? Wait, 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 wait. These things are just like regular cards. This thing makes the ephemeral. That. Let's get to the fun what? Part. I even just had the assumption that like this was like harrowing and they were ephemeral. That is unbelievable. Excuse us. Wow. That is unbelievable. They're not even ephemeral? I, I already thought that card was better than Harrowing to begin with, and now they're just not even ephemeral. That is just ridiculous. You just revive all of them? Unbelieve! I can't. I really can't believe that that's a card. That, that I just. I. I. I'm. I'm speechless. I can't believe that that's how this card works. I'm speechless. This 
speechless. Alright, we're gonna play against some lurkers. That was quite the quite the ancient hourglass that my opponent had the last round. I mean, Cyberpunk Strike is probably just amazing here in this matchup anyway, because they don't have any removal, so I, maybe I should be playing it. Fallen Feline! Yo! This is one of the, like, the only times we've gotten round one Fallen Feline ever. Nice. Let's take the Vi. See what I've learned? I mean, it could pass first. But yeah, they would probably just pass anyway. He said, why would they attack with both, lol? Because if they just attack with one, I get to block with the Chronomancer. But, I guess maybe that's still just like the thing to do, is just still just attack with the one. Lots of Chronomancers. Gotcha on top. Yeah, let's put a gotcha on top. On you to keep us safe. I think gotcha could be pretty nice next round. Uh, yeah. Find a gift for an right, Arda? Gets that thing pretty big. But hopefully, with the extra card advantage that we have. I can kill that thing with the Scotcha. Like if they have the Pike spell and I kill my own unit, does it fizzle Pike? No? Okay. The answer is no. It still puts the Pike in play. Scared Merciless Hunter at all? My top card was Siphoning Strike, and now it's going to be something different, but it's definitely worth getting. Yeah, I guess I'm definitely going to take this Chrono Break. We have found that that card is broken. Is 
this card is broken. I'm doing this my way, just like the old days. Of course, we're going to chrono break our units back after they die. So sequence like how you order your units really matters with this because they because they put the the Titan has to go after the Rexai basically make sure you always do that because like this Titan doesn't have the fearsome overwhelm spell shield that it should. I'm willing just to do this though because that Rexai is going to go away at the end of the round. And there we go. Yeah, because that's just going to put all my cards back in. It just puts both champions back in. Not even fleeting or anything. Man, that card is ridiculous. You just get missed call for everything. And rally. That card is busted. Alright, so we end up going 3 and 2. Uh, very impressed with both like Quicksand and Siphoning Strike in here being some good removal spells and interaction with Echo and Vi. And with all these lurkers around and just things like that, like Quicksand looked great. Like just in the Echo mirror, also like when our opponent's playing Echo, um, we and we had it or against lurkers. Against all the new champions, Quicksand looks incredible. That looks like something that I wish I, I kind of wish I had more than just one of. That was both, both Quicksand and the reason... The reason why I was kind of pointing out Quicksand and Siphoning Strike because they're both cards that I didn't play earlier in the Echo Zillion deck that looked really, really strong here in both of, in this deck. And so I kind of wish... So I think that moving forward with like these kind of matchups, the um, Quicksand and Siphoning Strike both seem like cards that look really good. I'm still not sold on the Xenotype Researchers in, in here. Now, it's hard for me to say that because I absolutely love Xenotype Researchers, as you know. But even in these games, too, I'm not that impressed with the Xenotype Researchers. And I just feel like the deck needs... Like, the deck already does, like, really good at uh, kind of st stalling the early game. Lots of good, like, cheap removal. Lots of good cheap interaction uh, against early decks. But it's still about, like, going big and finishing games. Like, that's where, like, the power, that's where our deck struggles. And um, the Siphoning Strike helps that out. But still, I think I would kind of, like, I know it may seem like it's meme tier or anything, but I think Kahiri's honestly pretty good. I would honestly recommend playing Kahiri. What I what I would recommend doing here is, honestly, like, just try to, like, Kahiri is huge. And I think Kahiri can can really do some good stuff. So I would, I would recommend getting, taking out the Xenotypes, getting in two Kahiris, getting in a second Quicksand um with how those cards looked and that's what i would kind of recommend trying like the next time i would play some games here with this um just uh you know kind of doing that because like well xeno like xenotype on a lot of these things like turning fallen feline into a 5-4 as we saw we didn't see it in these games we saw it in like the the previous games with echo zillion honestly does isn't really that big of a deal chronomancer into a 5-6 like it's it's cool it's cool having a five four and a five six but it's not like it's gonna like really like have you win games you would have lost otherwise. Sure, merciless hunter into a seven six, yeah, like that's that's pretty nice. But I don't know. I I feel like Kahir with how much you're predicting in these kind of decks, I feel like this Kahiri is gonna frequently be a six six more like an eight eight or a ten ten. And you know if you're getting an eight eight or a ten ten fearsome for six mana, that is going to turn around some games. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like that's just kind of underrated. So I that's what I'd kind of recommend, is maybe trying out some Quicksand, some Siphoning Strike, some Kahiri, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, if if Kahiri's not really work, working out, let's get a third Siphoning Strike, third Quicksand in here. You know, like, both of those cards were incredible. I wouldn't mind having a third one of either of those, to be honest. And so um, that's that's also another option also. Just maybe, maybe just try some more of those. I don't know. I just don't know about this Xenotype. If it's really um, pulling its weight or not, um, not convinced. Another option, Profiteer. 
you know, getting the lucky finds. Lucky finds can work out really well with both Vi and Echo. You know, maybe you know, giving an extra little buff to Echo, maybe give some overwhelm to Vi, anything like that. Like that's also another option. Obviously, Bakai Sand Spinner. There's there's a lot of good cards you can play. You want to play some Sump Dredgers? I'm cool with that. You know, I'm just not I'm not sure if the Xenotype really uh, does it, but you know. Keep on, keep on trying stuff. Keep on working with it. I liked the Vi, though. I think the Vi, Vi looked really good. And I think the Echo and Vi looked good together. So, um, yeah, there's there's some good stuff here. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Um, let me know what you think about, like, those card changes. There's lots of different options here uh, that we just kind of went over. Let me know, those of y'all on YouTube, what are your favorites? Do you like the Xenotype Researchers? Do you want more... Like, what do you think of Kahiri? I know, like, a lot of people think Kahiri is a meme tier card, but if you try out Kahiri yourself, let me know how that card goes for you. Or do you just want more quicksands and siphoning strikes and stuff like that? Maybe a boomerang blade. I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, that's going to be it here for Echo Vi. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Ruin Runner is a good card. <laughs> Can't complain about Ruin Runner, that's for sure.